So hello and welcome. This is Erica Glessing. You have joined me on the Erica Glessing Show for eight minutes of inspiration every single day. Today, I am interviewing a light worker, a dancer. She actually dances all kinds of different ways that maybe if she feels like it, she'll share. <laughs> She's a brilliant author, number one international bestseller so many times over. She teaches about all kinds of fun things, including sex and uh welcome patty alfonso hello hello thank you so much for having me here what a lovely introduction i know it's like everything gets all excited when patty's coming into the oh, room no. <laughs> <laughs> have you always lit up rooms miss patty you know what um no <laughs> I, I i wish that i could say that i did and that has been really part of my journey. I mean, I do perceive that I came into this world with that light and that brilliance and that ability to change and light up a room. And with um, my family and the things that I created when I was younger and my upbringing, I shut that down for a really, really long time. So it's been quite a magical, interesting, challenging journey to uncover that within myself again and really choose to be it. And so I'm, I'm happy to report <laughs> that yes, in these 10 seconds, I do usually tend to light up the room and change <laughs> when I walk up. And you're not the first person to have ever said that to me. So <laughs> there we go. Um, so, Patty, <laughs> tell us about your first book. It just, it just came into the world with such a beautiful bag. It was just so celebrated. It, yeah. it went international, number one, and list after list after list. It just kind of blew up the charts. Tell us a little bit about that book and, and, and the, it, tell me the name again so yes. I don't wreck it. <laughs> yes, 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 thank you. Um, gosh, it really did light up the charts. How does it get better? Um, it's called Your Body as the Creation of Consciousness. And it's, it's a wonderful, lovely little creation, if I do say so myself. It had been in my awareness for a long time. Even though I didn't really know what I was going to write about, I knew that I would write a book. And who knew I'd write more than one? But hey. Um, <laughs> and it's basically the story. It's my journey as a woman, as a creator, um, the times in my life where, like I mentioned before, I chose to dim my light down and try to please everyone and make myself small enough to fit into, you know, my family and this reality. And I incorporate the tools and the practices that I used to uncover me. And it all surrounds around inviting your body to be in your life with you and to create your life with you. And so I share tools in, in my work with pole dancing and my work with access consciousness and my work with Tantra. And it's all about just awakening to the sensations and the pleasures of your body. And that book was one of the many turning points in my life um, to choose to really show up in this reality as me, as, you know, the bubbly, risk-taking, you know, crazy, amazing, you know, being that I've, I've come here to be. So I love that. Yeah, let me know, like, I, I just want to talk to you about that moment where uh, I, there's such a cultural norm to sort of hide your body, especially mm -hmm. when you have like a spectacular body. Everyone has a spectacular body, but when your body is considered sort of socially like spectacular, like it's just off the charts, you know, bomb body. <laughs> <laughs> You know, it takes one to know one, right, baby? <laughs> so it, when you have bomb body, it's like you walk into rooms and there's just judgment like everywhere. There's there's just people, there's I've I felt like these just radiations of jealousy towards the curves or towards the way of being comfortable in the body. What can we do with that judgment and how can we turn it into a contribution to us? Um, well, mm, 
What I would suggest is simply being aware that the judgment is there and there really isn't anything that you can do with it. It's about lowering your barriers, you know, showing up bigger and more of you so that you are not at the effect of those judgments. So what can you do? Lower your barriers. What can you do about the judgments? Not a damn thing. People <laughs> are people and they're going to do and whatever it is that they're going to do and think. And you know what? It ain't none of your business. You just keep on being you and being awesome and being present with your body. Awesome. Um, lowering your barriers is totally key because the second you try to resist those judgments, you try to like change people's minds or make yourself smaller so that they don't judge you. That's the moment that you're locking those judgments into your body. And that's the moment that okay. you're stopping the communion that you have with your body. It's so like, you know, yeah. tell us a little bit about uh, where this year, where you're going to be going this year, what this year is bringing and what kinds of opportunities you're going to be offering. We only have another minute or two, so it's kind of a rush, but uh, I think we were talking a little bit about sex. A little bit. Yes. My, my business, my body, uh, myself demanding of my, of, of my creations to dive deeper into the elements of sex, diving deeper into the elements of intimacy, diving deeper into what it is to be really present with your body and to be you in bed. Like, what is that? What does that look like for you? What is your body like? What does your body desire? What are the points of views that are stopping you from creating what you desire? Whatever that may be, however that shows up, what's your sexual reality? That's what I want to explore and play with people in the next year and many other things. <laughs> I know, right? It's never going to be boring. So tell us just real quick, um, your main uh, domain where people can find you. Yes, people can find me at pattyalfonso.sexy. Love it. Thank you for coming, <laughs> Patty. Thank you. Woo!